come again to Adventure Story Channel video. I hope that you will see until the end this video. It will be really, really informative. We'll have a lot of information and I will try as much as possible quickly to explain all the things that we will do today. First of all, I like to thank you that you have stayed tuned to Adventure Story Channel and you're always tuned here. I'm always being asked about how to make a proper changeover procedure. And as we know, we have three main uh, major uh, equipment that we make changeover. This is main engine, diesel generator and our auxiliary boilers. First of all, we will start from diesel generator, which is a small engine. And we will see all this kind of procedure here. How properly to do that, how to do uh, so uh, think that we will not get any kind of problems and how to avoid them. Another thing that I like to inform you that most of the vessels and this is uh, been quite a lot of time before about uh, five years and maybe more from 2015 most of the vessels uh, new vessels have procedure have to do that and also most of engineers on board they have made such kind of manuals uh, they have posted their procedure how to do that and there is a lot of diagrams with change over procedures but the most important is to check the original procedures of uh, the manufacturer I will show you how this kind of uh, changeover procedure look like. We will see it in the next video, but today we will see how to make a changeover here on our diesel generators. First of all, let's make a scenario and uh, let's uh, say that we have two generators working. What you will suppose to do? First of all, a good and a safe way to change over. Uh, let's say we will change uh, the fuel on uh, MGO. Let's say we will make this case. What we can see here, we can see that we have two separate systems here. That we have a diesel system here which is separated and a fuel system which is located here so uh, let's say that our generators are running on heavy fuel oil which is the section of our generators located here on this place the fuel will be uh, drawn from here and what we can see here that our composite boiler also suction from this service tank really i do not like this kind of composite boiler i believe that this kind of system uh, add more danger to the vessel because there is one additional boiler for firing and also add more a uh, different kind of piping and there is always a, a risk of such boilers because they are also passing a diesel generators uh, gases exhaust gases to heat the composite boiler i really do not believe that this is a very very safe thing i will explain on another video why i do not like the composite boiler as equipment on board the vessel and uh, let's continue here we can see that we have switches here and send to engine control room which kind of fuel we are using so most of these switches sometimes there do not touch the limit and we have some kind of problem of signal to be sent uh, of the engine control room so by receive the signal from here you need to be uh, touch this limit so this is the fuel the new fuel that we will use and this must be off the plate, the metal plate on the valve. So this valve here will be open 0E, uh, OZE052 will be open. So our new fuel will be waiting here. So 
what we will do first of all we need to supply a new fuel to our uh, line here so by avoiding mixture the fuels together we try to open this kind of suction and close the suction from other tanks so what is going directly we suction the fuel from here from here it passing but another thing that we need to tell that yes we are passing our fuel yes from here this is one yes correct we're passing from our fuel oil supply pumps the supply pumps have filters here will suction the fuel will send it here through the flow meter and then send it to fuel oil return tank from here we have our pumps which will suction uh, the fuel which is called fuel oil circulating pump then we will heat up our fuel and as you can see we have a selection and option of electrical heater which is really really a nice thing uh, in case that you do not have steam uh, and you will like to heat up your uh, generators it's really really nice thing I have tried it and we will see also how to operate this kind of electrical heater and it's really really amazing thing so after that we have cleaning of the fuel with a filter auto cleaning filter auto fine filters then we have our viscosiator here which measuring the viscosity with all the alarms alarm high and alarm low and then we have our entrance to our generators and then the return back the return is the entrance is from here one moment yes it's from here and the return where it goes this is the leakage here in case that we have a leakage on the pumps uh, this will trigger and everything will go to the fuel clean leak tank which is also very very important to measure every day to see if we have any leakages so we sent our fuel here ah one good thing to say that our filters that whatever they blow out and when they make their cleaning everything going to fuel oil overflow tank and this is the most of the cases that this system sent there this kind of dirty so better the overflow tank is to send to storage tank bunker storage tank so if there is any kind of dirty if it will be dissolved with the big quantity of the fuel uh, otherwise uh, as much as i have seen most of the chief engineers send them to settling tank direct the overflow tank to the settling tank direct uh, but if you do so a lot of dirty will be entered to the settling tank and also your purifiers will be get dirty and also your filters so it's better to send, in my opinion, to send to the storage tank all your uh, fuel oil overflow tank. So uh, let's go back to our point here. So we are looking uh, the entrance of the fuel and this is switch. This is a change over switch which is controlled from engine control room and you have here the indication. Uh, there is a switch that shows you uh, which fuel is operating and by the lamps in the engine control room but when we make change over we also attend local to check if this valve have changed position another thing that we can tell about this valve uh, there is some kind of uh, nuts inside which is really really affected by the vibration and I have seen some of them already slack and gone so when you will change over probably it will not touch the equipment to send you the signal that you have been changed over so look on, at them also 
uh, and make any kind of maintenance to minimize this uh, looseness that vibration can be done on this uh, three-way uh, automatic change valve so as we can see our fuel will be get here will be sent to number three diesel generator through this pipe to number two and through this piping to number three diesel generator also we can see here that we have a pressure regulating system which will regulate the system to a set point of nine kilos maximum we need to have pressure through our line as much as possible okay nine kilos it will be really really nice pressure for that and how the pressure will be adjusted by a spring here this is a valve which is regulated by the spring and the if the pressure will be increased the valve here will be overcome the pressure the fuel will be overcome the pressure and will return by this piping back here to the fuel oil return tank or as we can see yes here it's changed to fuel oil overflow uh, return tank yes it's not it will not go here as we see our angle here points to the fuel oil return tank so also uh, verify that your gauges are working properly and also you can compare this gauge of the set point that indicates here you can check also from all your three diesel generators because they have also this kind of pressure a uh, gauge on the diesel generator so by comparing them and by calibrating them you will be able to uh, as much as possible to find a good adjustment as we can see also here the fuel enters here and let's see what kind of valve is this one this is the quick closing valves which have a p number here p later which means that this is a pneumatic actuating uh, quick closing valve the line goes here to the c and direct if we're going to the c here we can see that this is our emergency local control box cabinet when we uh, normal the air is not supplied there it's closed one moment i will check that ah the compare the compress air is uh, one moment one moment So it's sent to C. Yes, we have always the supply of compress compressed air here to the line. Always it's under uh, compressed air. And when we turn this valve, the local valve, we depressurize the line and our quick, quick closing valves will be closed. This is how it works. Also, these quick closing valves must be tested when the generator is not running, must be lubricated with some kind of penetrating oil. And as we can see, we have our enters of the fuel. Let's say this is our number one diesel generator, which also uh, have details about the kilowatts of generator it's a little bit bigger this one was our eight cylinder engine which we overhauled and as we can see our fuel will enter from here this is the inlet valve passing from here this is the duplicate filter the fine duplicate filters we have a pressure indication uh, and alarms here that receive from there and then the fuel will be out will passing also from this leakage box fuel or leakage box and then we'll go out again with a flexible hose and we can see also the outlet valves there is also a automatic outlet uh, valve 
which controls also from uh, the engine control room and then the fuel goes here to this line and everything return back to the fuel return pipe here and again the fuel oil circulation will suction and send it back again this is how it works and this is how now uh, this is our scenario and the initial condition of our diesel generators so we like to change we are going to the port and we like to change to the ultra low sulfur fuel that we have here in our service tank also we have uh, our, our return i need to tell that before starting the changeover we have this valve open so whatever and we have four kilos pressure here set some of the fuel will be coming back here return uh, to the line and through the system will pass in here as you can see we have every everywhere regulators so we have a constant pressure uh, through the line we do not like in the fuel lines to have a atmospheric pressure or more or less to the atmospheric pressure we'll always like to have and needed to have a higher pressure so the fuel will be not boil and will not make any bubbles created through the system which will make a lot of damage to our components uh, around the flow meters the vasociators the pumps the heaters and all the piping itself and also the pumps which is the last point on the diesel generators so we have also our returns on the tank the tank serves always a point of start and return back of some kind of liquid so we need to change to our ultra low sulfur service tank which is located somewhere close to our service tank port side so we will start to suction from here we will open this valve and our fuel will be coming from here we will open also the suction so our fuel will be circulated in the same manner around the system as we have seen before will take the same trip so uh, by changing this our generator indication will show that we are using ultra low sulfur fuel so the only thing that we have done is to open this e uh, o e 074 which suction from one tank and to close direct this kind of valve and then we will change only the return to the tank here after a while we do not like to mix this fuel with this one we will wait some minutes until uh, to circulate all the fuel but normally until circulate all this quantity and it's not really really small quantity uh, it will take around uh, one or two hours to be 100 percent clear so the changeover procedure must be started before you entering in the uh, corresponding ECA zones also when you making changeover you must it fill up on your logbook uh, the position of changeover uh, take it by the bridge but whatever uh, position you receive from the bridge must be countersign that uh, the position that they give is the appropriate the latitude and the longitude and also we write uh, the procedure itself that we have changed in that position from this kind of fuel let's say from heavy fuel oil uh, in previous vessels we have a good thing that we write all the specification of the fuel inside the book but uh, try as much as possible to be quick and contain as much as uh, only the proper information inside also this will be a small writing for you and also will have as much as possible uh, the necessary information also you must 
contain the starting point and the end point of changeover, the latitude, the longitude when you start it and when you end it also the same uh, procedure. So now we have changed from heavy fuel oil to ultra low sulfur heavy fuel oil. If you like to change to low sulfur MGO, which is here, what you will need to do is to open here the valves or what you can do also another thing that you can do you can leave let's say a number two diesel generator running on fuel uh, for a while okay until you change over one generator you give a time uh, for this generator to cool down everything and let's say if uh, you have these two generators okay number one and number two running on fuel slowly slowly you can uh, deload your generator let's say number three you can reduce the load you can put it uh, without load your generator so the procedure will be more smooth and then let's say you have these two generators working this number three generator is working without load and you start the changeover procedure for number three diesel generator for MGO for diesel uh, oil by opening this valve and you can separately prepare your system uh, okay let's start it what you can do you can uh, or uh, you can make it without load or you can make change over uh, by a stop engine anyway the fuel will be circulated through the pumps you have two kind of change over that you can make safely uh, one on another way it's okay it's not any problem so let's start we have opened here our valve for the moment we will not pass from our low sulfur MGO cooler we'll just send our uh, low sulfur MGO as the temperature surrounding temperature of uh, the engine room so the cooling down procedure will be uh, for our components which is located here because here we do not have nothing to cool down so we have open here we have also the bypass open our fuel it's running here so this is close this is close no need to open this valve because our system is still running on fuel so our diesel will running here here passing and going to separate pump which called generator low sulfur MGO pumps so these pumps will deliver our diesel here in the separate line and we only thing that we need to open is the inlet and the outlet of the diesel all these valves it's already opened the pressure regulating valves and the return back we need to verify that it's open it's a separate system a very nice and a quick system for changeover also in that vessel that we had uh, the only thing uh, all the valves here was open always was standby every valves the return and the suction valves so what we did the only thing if a blackout procedure happened we opened the inlet and the outlet valve of the diesel generator and direct we start this pump the only thing that was very very uh, strange uh, during the blackout we need to start this pump manually one of these pumps manually so in the event of blackout you do not make uh, you do not have so much time to wait to circulate that you make it direct but if you are uh, having time you will try as much as possible to cool down your generator so your generator is running all these valves for fuel also it's open and uh, what you're doing what you're doing 
one moment I will close the window because we have a noise. I have left the window open. So now I believe it's much much better. So if we like to make a change over, okay, we supply the diesel from here. It's already uh, waiting there it's not started already and what is going on when we change over the uh, the switches in the engine control room what is happening the diesel this one valve will be switched on and the diesel will enter to the engine but the outlet here the switch will be still wait about for two or five minutes and will send the return to the fuel system so it's a like a flashing time to do that and to not send uh, the fuel to the diesel uh, line inside we do not like this valve to be switched direct by this one but when we are making opposite we do not have any problem some diesel going to the fuel when we return back to the fuel so this will be another video how to return back we will make the same uh, scenario so we have seen all the cases of the changeover and as i have said you ha you can have your engine stop and make this kind of changeover but for me the best is the engine to be running and make such kind of changeover so you will have a smooth rolling of all components and a better cleaning effect uh, through the system it's very very necessary to do that and also it is a really really nice thing to do that because your components will be clear and as i have tell also the pumps must be overhauled through the time because they lose also the uh, effect of pumping pumpability because there is internal leakages between the pump plunger and the piston plunger inside which is also very very necessary for the injection uh, quantity inside the engine so that's why by the time if there is a poor maintenance of uh, the diesel generator pumps you will have also a poor starting of your diesel generator so let's make a review of the system back again we have the suction from here on a separate line and we send our diesel here we make switch over we change over then the fuel will be returned back here so after this we can close after we this valve also will be changed you will have also the indication of that you can change also you can check also local you can close the fuel valves fuel outlet valves so you will be sure that your engine is not running anymore and will not deliver any kind of uh, fuel you will be fully slated and running on diesel so after that you can uh, give the load to your engine and deload another engine and start the procedure of change over again another thing that we have here on our system we can give this ultra low sulfur mgo to the fuel line and to these pumps but we will need more time until the flashing will be take place and after the flashing will be uh, finished here we can close and we can close yes the we can change but wait one moment if we give from here our diesel our diesel will going to the fuel line here and the return okay we can change only the return after that yes we can change only the return and we send the diesel here or we can leave it 
that the diesel will return to the heavy fuel oil service tank. We can do also like that. It depends how you like to work your system. I hope my dear friends you really really like this video. So I'm waiting for your comments and your questions also. And don't forget also to get a membership which is really really important uh, for the channel. Stay tuned to Adventure Story channel and bye bye.